When I used to teach paddleboarding, one of the main things people always wanted to do was to paddle straight without having to constantly keep changing the side they're paddling on. Well, in this video, I will go over my three main tips to help you paddle straight. If you can master the last tip, you'll literally never have to change the side you're paddling on. Tip one, the fundamentals. Now there are some advanced stroke techniques for paddling straight, which I will get into later. However, understanding and mastering the fundamentals of your SUP stroke can massively help when paddling straight. When a lot of people first learn to paddle, their stroke can look something like this. Now, there's nothing wrong with this. And the most important thing when learning is to feel comfortable. However, when learning to progress, you'll start to find by paddling like this, you'll be swapping sides a lot due to your board turning. To prevent this, start to try and paddle with your paddle more perpendicular to the water. As you can see here, my top hand and arm is placed a lot further across my body than I had it previously. This will allow you to pull the paddle back in more of a parallel plane in correlation to your board. The reason this will help you keep straight is that you have to remember, if you are wanting to turn the board, your paddle shape should be an outward arc, which will turn the nose of the board sharply. Now, if you don't want the nose to turn, your paddle shape has to be straighter. And having your arm further across your body will enable you to do this. Now, for a stronger paddle technique, the shape of your arms should form a triangle, with most of the power coming from your top hand. Your top arm should be fairly straight, as this will give you the best leverage and more power. Lastly, try to keep your eyes on the horizon. You will generally go where your eyes are looking, so look straight ahead. Tip 2. Understanding your board type. Depending on the type of board, it can be harder or easier to keep paddling straight. Now the board I ride is around 9 foot and has more of a rounded and a raised nose. This makes it a bit more difficult to keep paddling straight. However, a thinner, longer board that looks something like this will be much easier to keep in a straight line. Now, having one or the other isn't better, the boards are just designed for different purposes. Tip 3. The J Stroke. This stroke is a great stroke to learn, especially for anyone looking to SUP surf. The J Stroke, or Reverse J Stroke, I've heard it called both ways, allows you to paddle on one side of the board but in a straight line, so you don't have to keep changing the side you're paddling on. When you reach out and place your paddle in the water, you will want to rotate the face of the paddle and angle it more towards your board. Then when initiating your stroke, try to imagine pulling the paddle towards your board and then in a vertical line parallel to your board like normal. Now taking a look at the path of this stroke, it kind of resembles a J shape. What this stroke is doing is recentering the nose of your board on each stroke. Remember, when paddling on the right, your board will naturally start to turn left. So what the beginning of the J stroke aims to do is to initially turn the board in the same direction to the side you are paddling on. As you can see here, I'm still keeping my arm across my body, trying to keep the paddle straight. And it is the rotation of the blade that allows me to manipulate the direction the board is traveling in. Now, the J stroke is quite a short stroke, so you don't have to continue to reach back with the paddle once the paddle reaches around your feet. You want to take the paddle out of the water. The longer you leave the paddle going in past your feet, the more you'll turn. Now I find the J stroke works with most boards, but if you do want to take it one step further, you can start to rotate the paddle as it comes out of the water by your feet. This will make the paddle stroke look more like a C shape, if you get me. But I find with the good enough initial angled blade, the J stroke works fine. Now amazingly we have reached 200 subscribers somehow, but if you are new and you enjoy the content, why not like and subscribe so you are notified for future videos. Red to